This video is hella late and I apologize. I was traveling for my gaming channel um, and so I didn't get my video up on the usual time which is like Friday night in America, Saturday morning here in Australia, but I am making a video now which is only like a couple days late so we're okay, we're okay. All right, so let's just, what's been happening? What's been happening this week? Um, oh, Chasing Life happened. So, um, not this past week, but the week before, Brenner and Margot, like, got together. You know, they had the little kissy kissy, gave me butterflies. We all remember that. So that didn't last very long. Yep, it's, uh, it's over this week. That was... That's not even surprising. Let's be honest. It's not even surprising. So, we had some ex girlfriend drama on Margot's side, um, who play, who was played by, oh god, I should know her name, but the actress who played Alice in The L Word, so I was very happy to see her, um, but she did cause a bit of a breakup, and she played a great psycho, so there's that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that's gonna be like the last we see of Margot, maybe? I don't know, I, yeah, it's, I don't see, they, they ended that, like, pretty, pretty, no, no room for, oh yeah, let's come back into this, but, you know, TV shows always find a way. So I suppose from here on, we're just sort of waiting for uh, Brenner and Ford. Fingers crossed that actually happens now. I'm back on board the Brenner and Ford train. Um, and yeah, I, I would just, I would, I would like Brenner to be in a relationship for a little bit, have some very cute relationship moments and have, and not have like the girlfriend leave or you know, follow their ex-girlfriend back home. I don't know. Can we just have like, just a chill sort of relationship for Brenna for like two seconds? That'd be sweet. Thank you. But yeah, we shall see what happens with Brenna. All right, what else happened? So, um, I, a few weeks ago, I talked about a movie that was coming up called Jenny's Wedding. I was super excited for it because I had like Catherine Heigl as the main character who's getting married to her partner who's, the actress is called, um, Alexis, I don't even, I can't even say her last name. It's like Belle Del, but I can't even, I can't even. I'm terrible with names, but I was super excited for it because A, I love Grey's Anatomy, B, I love Gilmore Girls, and just, I love those two actresses, so I was super excited for that. It was going to be a nice rom-com about um, two girls getting married. It was going to be awesome. Turns out it's not that at all. Really, the movie should have been called, like, Jenny's Parents, because that's what the movie was about. The wedding wasn't... I mean, it, that was the reason why things started to happen, but the focus was not on the wedding as such. It was on Jenny's parents' feelings. It wasn't even necessarily, like, a coming out movie. It was... It was just focusing on how her parents are reacting to her coming out, if that makes sense. I mean, I suppose that is a coming out video or movie, but I don't know. It was just, I don't know, it just felt like it wasn't targeted to LGBT people. It was targeted to non-LGBT people, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. I was so let down by it. Yeah, so not only was the movie, like, basically focusing on the parents, which, you know, fine. There, it, it was, um, and not a bad story, you know, uh, it was okay. It was just, it just wasn't what I was, like, looking for, if that makes sense. Plus, the chemistry between, um, Alexis and Catherine was non-existent. There was literally no chemistry be between them. It was like the lit, it's, it's what I would imagine when people use the term gal pal. Like, that's what they were. It was so awkward, and, like, even... Even, like, they, you know, they have sort of, like, little scenes playing during the credits. They had, like, a dance scene playing during the credits at the wedding. And even that was so just separated. Like, they didn't even dance together. Those two were the only two dancing, but they didn't touch at all. Literally, Katherine Heigl had more chemistry with the actress that was playing her sister, which is weird. Um, uh, yeah, it, uh, I don't know, it just didn't, didn't work. Yeah, that's my quick review on Jenny's wedding. It is on video on demand, um, if you guys want to go watch it, but the sun has gone down. Uh, yeah, my little review on Jenny's wedding was, I was a little disappointed because it 
really should not have been called Jenny's wedding. It should have been called Jenny's parents. All right, on to the last part. What do I want to talk about? I want to talk about VidCon. I don't, I, I feel like the last time I made a video, VidCon had not happened yet, or maybe it was in the process of happening. But I want to talk about VidCon for two seconds because, ah, <sighs> so happy. So many of amazing people went to VidCon and I'm so jealous that I didn't get to go. So we got, oh my God, I'm gonna have to name these people off, off the top of my head. I'm gonna miss someone and I'm ter terribly sorry. So we had um, Ali and Stevie who were there. We had um, uh, Shannon and Cammy who were there. I feel like my accent makes their names sound weird. Shannon and Cammy. Yeah. I th yeah, I think it's just my accent that's making it weird, or maybe I'm saying it completely wrong. I don't know. Uh, Rosie and Rosie, Rose and Rosie were there. Um, Caitlin and Lucy, I believe, were there. I think they were there for a little bit. Um, Caitlin was there. Uh, yeah, was anyone else there? Uh, I'm really sorry if I'm missing someone. I'm gonna hate myself if I did. But yeah, also, uh, also, Jamie Curry was there. Okay guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys like a little secret. You guys cannot tell anyone, like this is this is top secret stuff. I have the biggest crush on Jamie Curry. My god, I am oh, I love her so much. She is like the most gorgeous person and she is hilarious. And she's just I just I I can't explain what is happening in my head right now, but I think she is the most amazing person ever and I'm totally in love with her. But you can't tell her. But if you want to ask her if she feels the same as me, that would be okay. We're going back to high school, guys. <laughs> yeah, so Jamie Curry was there and I'm so, I just, I love her and she got to, she, I, she posted a picture of her hanging out with Shannon and Cammy. I love those two. I just, I just, I can't, yeah, the, just, just too many feels happening right now and I cannot explain it. I, yeah, I'm sure you guys understand. If you guys don't know who Jamie Curry is, I am hurt. I'm honestly hurt a little bit, but you guys should definitely go check her out on YouTube, Jamie's World. She is, like, once you watch one video, you will not stop. You will watch all of her videos, and then you will develop a crush on her, and then I will fight you because she's mine. That's really possessive for someone that I have never even met, let alone talk to, so I'm going to take that back. She's not mine, but I'm still going to fight you. <laughs> But yeah, that's 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 been happening. That's been happening this week. Um, I'm sorry that the video is late. Uh, yeah, I it, my schedule was like sort of thrown off this week because I was traveling for my gaming channel. Um, but yeah, I made a video today, and I'm gonna make another video on time this week. So that'll be so look out uh, for another Les Talk on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, depending on where you live. Um, this week coming, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay. Bye. That was a really weird way Bye. We're moving on